As most will see, this is a uh, funky uh, 600 size Airwolf. I'm pulling the mechanics out today to do some maintenance on them and already run into a showstopper as Murphy's Law would dictate. I'm going to zoom into the head to show you what's going on and what our fix will hopefully be. So to get the doghouse off you have to take the head off uh, to get the mechanics out. Um, this particular head uh, it's got a Jesus bolt in it and there's also two pinch bolts at the bottom. Okay and when you tighten those up they just pinch the head around the mast. Now the one came out no problem. There it is. Um, it was in this side. When I went to take the other one out, this is what we got. The head snapped right off of the hex bolt. So the hex bolt is actually stuck in there. Now I can get the head off no problem because it's not pinching anymore. But when I go to put it back on, that, that bolt has to be out. There has to be a way to tighten it. Now in my Setup and Tips ebook, I have a section on drilling out fasteners. And we're going to attempt to drill this out. And possibly rethread it. Uh, it all depends how it comes out. We're kind of lucky because this is not a blind hole. Uh, it's, it's drilled and threaded right through the head. So we can either we can go in at it this way with a drill, but I think I'm going to try to start on the back side. So I'm going to have to take the head off, remove the washout arms. I might take the blade grips off as well um, so we can mount this in a vise so we can try to uh, drill it out. So the mechanics are out, head is off. And hopefully we can get a better view now. So if this stays in focus, come on you bugger. Okay, so there's the one that has come out no problem. And there's the one that's stuck in there. Now the first part of drilling out a, a busted bolt is to put a center uh, dimple on there so the drill bit won't want wander. Now we could try to tap a little divot in there, a little um, you know, a centering divot with a punch. But I'm actually going to use a small drill in the drill press to see if we can put a little dimple in there with the uh, with a drill bit and then use a bigger bit and hopefully the bigger bit will actually bite into that screw and and actually thread it out. Uh, if this gets really ugly uh, we're probably going to have to drill it right out and then re-tap the hole but uh, we'll see where this goes. So I'm just going to mount this in the drill press now and see if we can get that uh, centering dimple in there. So we've got the head mounted in the uh, drill press vise. And I've just put a little piece of uh, leather in there to protect the head um, when I tighten the jaws. And I just want to basically make sure the head is level in, in the vise so when I'm drilling the hole um, uh, you know, the drill isn't going in at an angle, it's going more or less straight down through the bolt, hopefully. Now these are hardened steel bolts, so you're going to need a nice, sharp, uh, high-speed steel drill bit. Okay, so we just got the vise on the drill press uh, table here. Uh, this isn't an expensive drill press, it's just a little bench top. Um, what size is it? Eight, an 8-inch eight drill press. Again, it's why I kind of say on my RC Helicopter Tool page that a drill press can be a useful tool in our hobby. And this is exactly one of the reasons why. You could probably do this freehand, but uh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to try it. So let's just zoom in there. Uh, if you noticed, I also had tape uh, over the blade grips, just so no drilling chips get into the, between the blade grip bearings and the head. So all I'm doing here is hopefully just putting a small dimple in. Now I'm not putting much pressure, I just want to drive a little dimple in there. And I don't know. Okay, there we go. Trying to get it as centered as possible. Looks pretty good. Now we can go with a bigger drill bit and then we'll put 
we'll put uh, oil in there as a lubricant for the next drill bit. Okay, so now we've got our next uh, size drill bit in here. I should mention that first drill bit I used just to put the dimple in was a 1 16th bit. And this is a 3 uh, 30 seconds bit in here right now. This is an M3 bolt. Uh, so hopefully this will be big enough to get most of the bolt without taking any of the um, aluminum in the, uh, in the head out. So I'm just going to put some oil in here for lubrication. And I'm going at a slow speed. Uh, I've got the, uh, the belt in the um, drill press here set for 690 RPM. Now, problem with, uh, problem with that oil on there is I can't see if we're going in straight. Let's get the gunk out of there. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'll just keep going. Here, blow this out of the way. Just put a little more oil in there. So I'm just going to try to hand tap it out. This is uh, an N M3 by 0 0.05 tap, or sorry, a 3M by 0.5. And we'll put a little oil in there. And I'm kind of hoping that the remainder of that bolt that's still in there will actually start coming out with the tap. It's kind of a tall ask, but that would be ideal. I'll just fast forward through this. I'm just going to stop it here. Uh, I've got to see what's going on on the other side of the hole. I think it's actually coming out and it's being pressed up against the inside of the other, of the back, or the front hole I guess it would be. Okay, so I was able to pick a little bit of this, uh, there was still a little bit of bolt wedged in there um, with this pick. I think that's all of it out now. So I'll just go back in there. I'm just going to lube it up here. Some more oil. And if you, uh, yeah, if you don't oil it, you get a really um, rough thread. There. I 
think we've got her. Oh, there it is, coming out the other side. It's a little off center, but certainly good enough. Just got a, uh, I've got an M3 bolt here, hex bolt. I'm gonna drive it through. See if this works. Well, it seems to be going in quite straight. There we go. So That's about all there is to it. They don't always work out this way, but uh, the main thing is getting it centered. Because you see, even there, I thought I had it pretty centered, but we're off kilter a bit. The, the build, drill bit did wander a little bit. But that's just, uh, just one method to get a uh, snap bolt out, is to drill it out and then retap the hole. And again, I go over that in my Setup and Tips ebook along with other uh, tips to get uh, fasteners out this, if you round the heads off and uh, whatnot. Um, so, anyways, so just thought that might be interesting for a few folks if you ever run into this problem and have to drill out a small M3 bolt in a rotor head. Cheers, folks. <laughs>